Our next question comes from a listener in Fraser, Michigan. She writes, Why do the prophetic sections of Scripture describe future battles as being fought with horses? I don't see how horses can be any match for modern tanks, machine guns, and large artillery. Well, I'm very happy to discuss this. The mention of it, the most notable one, is in the 28th chapter, or 38th chapter, of the prophecy of Ezekiel. And in that chapter, we are told that the great kingdom from the north, which many of us believe is Russia, will come down against Israel in the last days, and they're coming down with horses. Now, that seems, as you indicate, it's entirely out of keeping with modern warfare. Horses would not add anything to modern warfare at all. I have a notion that the horse cavalry is pretty much a thing of the past as far as we're concerned. But the very interesting thing is that a man who's in the trucking business, he owns a very large trucking concern that operates, I think, both in this country and Canada. And he's a wonderful Christian man, and he was in Russia. He goes over there and buys horses. And he brings them to this country and sells them. And he says Russia is the only country today that's really in the horse business. And they have a horse cavalry today, a very large one, by the way. And so he hadn't given much thought to that problem at all, other than they just were raising horses, and he thought they were a back number. So I was preaching on the 38th of Ezekiel up in Seattle, Washington, and when I mentioned the fact that in the last days there would be a horse cavalry, and the reason for it would be that Russia thought, and there are other nations that think that with all of this modern warfare that is carried on by pushing buttons, or lighting a fuse, or pulling a trigger, that horses would be entirely out, but that what really will happen, that each nation will knock the other one out completely, because that's one thing about this age in which we live with all of its atomic bombs and atomic age, that one nation can knock the other nation out entirely. And Russia feels that the way to win was to have a backup of cavalry to come in as they did in the old days. And apparently that's exactly what's going to happen as far as their coming down into Israel is concerned in the last days. Cavalry is going to be very much, I think, in style in the future. You and I are judging the thing as we see it at the present moment. But for the future... Uh, apparently they're going to pay, I think, a very prominent part as far as warfare is concerned.